This is the first time Wan Wai has been let out of the stable with the other orphans still inside the boma. He confidently follows his keeper Aaron and suddenly stops when he notices Zongo. He does a little hesitant leg swing with his ears up and out in alertness and moves away. He soon settles down and before long he's receiving some affiliative bonding behaviours including body rubs. He reaches out to Aaron making sure he's still there as each of the elephants show more interest he wants to be closer to his keeper. All the orphans are keen to touch and smell him. Elephants' primary way to gather information about each other is through their scent. They have more genes related to smell than any other species. Mbila is very curious about the young calf. All new rescues benefit if an older female takes extra interest in them, hopefully becoming their aloe mother. She affectionately rests her head on his back. He still reaches out to Aaron though. It will take him a while to get used to his new herd. Wan Wai lost his herd at such a critical age for social learning and only two months old, he's had little experience in any herd. So it's even more important for him to be able to learn key skills for his development, welfare, even his successful release one day. But for now, he still needs his human family for support and to seek comfort, helping him recover from his trauma. He still sees them as his mother and will be guided by them. This reliance will decrease as he progresses further into his rehabilitation and starts to rely more and more on the other elephants. But for now, the keepers mean security, nutrition and love.